Hello again. Welcome back to Grammarly's YouTube. Pull up a chair, get cozy, and enjoy the latest episode of Level Up. Here, it's our aim to support your writing and communication needs. This new episode features essay writing advice, including our recommended five-step process to getting started. As always, if you find these videos helpful, help us by hitting the subscribe button and sharing this video with a friend. And if you're in need of writing and communication assistance, visit Grammarly.com to download the free writing tool that will help with all your writing needs. Okay, now it's time to talk about essays. Let's begin by defining an essay. It's a type of writing that asserts the author's opinion on a topic, whether academic, editorial, or even humorous. There are so many ways to go about writing an essay. I'll dive into a winning recipe for essay writing, as well as offer a can't-miss process to help when you're struggling to get started. First, let's discuss the framework, aka the nucleus of a good essay. Your essay needs a thesis statement. The thesis is the central point you're trying to make. Essays can occasionally stray and go on to related tangents, but they always come back to that one core idea in the thesis. You'll also want to reiterate it throughout the essay, especially when wrapping up everything in the conclusion. The rest of your essay then supports your thesis. You can include empirical evidence, testimonials, logical deductions, or even persuasive rhetoric. Whatever gets the job done. The point is that you're building upon your initial thesis, not switching up to completely different topics. Once you have the thesis down, it's important to determine which type of essay you're writing. What you choose will have an impact on how the writing comes together. Here are some of the most common essay types and what to keep in mind in terms of execution of the work. Argumentative essays assert or defend a position. This is the most common type of school paper, so keep that in mind when writing your first college essay. Most colleges request an admissions essay and applications, which typically revolve around why you're interested in their school. A persuasive essay is just as it sounds, an essay to persuade or convince the reader of a certain point. These need to present a case and win over the reader. When you want to devote equal attention to two opposing things, compare and contrast essays work better than argumentative or persuasive essays, which tend to lean to one side over the other. Personal essays are often anecdotal or real-life stories of the authors because they tend to follow narrative structures. The thesis can be flexible or interpretive. An expository essay thoroughly explains a certain topic to expand the reader's knowledge. It is similar to an argumentative and persuasive essay in format, but with one key difference. Expository essays don't have bias. Now that we've established the different types of essays, let's turn the focus to the audience. You absolutely need to consider who will be reading your essay. A teacher, an admissions counselor, your peers, the internet at large, etc. No matter what you're writing, your audience should influence your language. For one thing, your readers determine whether the essay is formal or casual, which has an enormous impact on language, word choice, and style. With the type of essay and audience in mind, let's move into the essay writing process. Even if you prefer the stream of consciousness style for writing your rough draft, you still need to have an orderly system that allows you to revise and hone. For essay writing, Grammarly recommends a standard five-step writing process. Step one, brainstorming. Based on your prompt or thesis, try to generate as many ideas as possible to include in your essay. Step two, preparing. This consists of both outlining your essay and collecting resources for evidence. The way you write citations depends on the style guide you're using. The three most common style guides for academics are MLA, APA, and Chicago, and each has its own particular rules and requirements for citing just about any kind of source, including newspaper articles, websites, speeches, and YouTube videos. Grammarly also has a free citation generator at grammarly.com slash citations. You should check it out if you need some help. Step number three, drafting. This is the main stage of essay writing, where you roll up your sleeves and you actually write your first draft. Remember that everything doesn't have to be perfect. This is your first draft, not your final. Step number four, revising. The revision stage involves your second draft, your third draft, and even your 12th draft if necessary. Address all the nuances and subtleties you glossed over in the first draft. Pay attention to both word choice and clarity, as well as sophisticated writing techniques like avoiding the passive voice. If you're not confident in your writing skills yet, Grammarly helps catch common mistakes with sentence structure, like run-on sentences, sentence fragments, passive voice, and more. Step number five, proofreading. When all the heavy-duty revisions are finished, it's time for the final polish. Go through your essay and correct misspellings, formatting issues, or grammatical errors. This is also where you can turn to Grammarly's AI-powered writing assistance, which helps catch these common mistakes for you. To wrap things up, let's briefly discuss the essay structure and what needs to be included. Introduction. 
Essays follow the same guidelines for introductions as with any other piece of writing, with an extra emphasis on presenting the thesis prominently, ideally in the topic sentence. Body paragraphs. The majority of your essay is body paragraphs, all of which support your thesis and present evidence. Some arguments benefit from a logical progression where one point leads to a second, and that second point leads to a third. Conclusion. Essay conclusions wrap up or summarize your thesis in a way that's easy for the reader to digest. If you get the chance, you can add a new perspective or context for understanding your thesis. But in general, conclusions should not present any new evidence or supporting data. There's a lot that goes into essay writing. Luckily for you, Grammarly can support your needs to ensure your essays get extra polish before you submit your published work. Check out Grammarly.com to try Grammarly today and take your upcoming essays to the next level. Thanks for watching this episode of Level Up. Stay tuned for our next topic.